Hello everybody, my name is Stephanie Hylensky and I'm the curator of live animals here at the Moonshop Museum of Discovery and I have another really awesome special animal with me today for you guys to meet. And you may be familiar with this little guy, he is a little bit famous. I would say he's probably Dayton's most famous hedgehog. So this is Quilliam and Quilliam is our African pygmy hedgehog. And this little guy just turned four years old back in October, so he's still fairly young and probably about a middle-aged hedgehog or so. They usually live about three to five years in the wild, but in zoos a lot of times they can actually live seven to ten years. And Quilliam has lived with us since he was just a baby, so he is one of the friendliest hedgehogs I've ever met. He does not really get too scared of us because we've handled him and he's very used to people since he's lived with us since he was just a little baby. And you might notice he's got a very long nose. That little nose is always moving around, sniffing around for bugs. He is mainly an insectivore, so you might notice insectivore is an insect eater. So in the wild, hedgehogs mainly eat small insects. So things like mealworms, like I'm feeling, feeding him right now, but also scorpions, snakes, lizards, other small animals. So they are omnivores, they eat plants and animals. But a lot of times they're called insectivores because insects are definitely the biggest part of their diet. So Quilliam today, it doesn't look like he's too interested in the mealworms, but that's totally okay. But if you look closely at his face, you can definitely see that long nose, those um, but fairly small eyes. So he has a very good sense of smell, but pretty poor eyesight. And they live in Africa on the bottom of the forest floor for the most part. He's not very good at climbing, not very good at digging. So they live in the grasslands in Africa. Most animals living in Africa are smart enough not to try to eat a hedgehog. So not the tastiest treat for most animals. But honey badgers will eat them and also birds of prey are probably their biggest natural predator in their natural habitat in Western and Central Africa. So even though hedgehogs look very, very similar to porcupines, they're actually very distant cousins. So both animals just have these hairs, which are really hard, really pokey quills. Now the hedgehog's quills aren't quite as bad, I would say, as the porcupine. So porcupine quills have a little hook on the end, which means when they stick into you, it's very painful. They're kind of like a band-aid. You have to rip them out when you get quilled by a porcupine. So this little guy, he doesn't have the hooks on the ends of his quills. So anything trying to eat him would just get a mouthful of spikes, wouldn't taste very good. Um, um, but even though he looks a lot like a porcupine, he's not a baby porcupine and actually a very distant cousin of the porcupine. His closest cousins would be moles and shrews, like moles that you might have in your very own backyard. Thank you everyone so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of our other videos, share with your friends, and spread the word.